are such an asshole. Aaron, does the consulting ever stop? No, it never does. It never will. At assholeconsulting.com because thank God you baby boomers lied to everybody. <laughs> thank God bless feminism. God bless you baby boomers and feminists because if you guys had actually told the truth, raised your kids right, and didn't do this feminist lying bullshit Marxist crap, I wouldn't have millions of misled people and poor younger kids fucking searching for the truth and paying me. I just sit here and say, hey, here's the harsh reality. $35, please. You know that if it wasn't for you baby boomers and feminist fucks, I'd have to have a real job. I would still be working in banking, trying to deny loans only to be overridden by a bunch of, what was it again? Baby boomer fucks who call us the housing crisis. Of which now I think three of my ex-bosses are dead. Cause they were, what was it again? Say it with me now, Baby Boomer Fucks, a book by Aaron Cleary. Watch, someone's actually going to write a book. Baby Boomer Fucks. It'll be curses. It'll become a New York Times bestseller. I'll be very upset. Uh, hi, Aaron. My name is Miscellaneous. He wants me to admit his name. 28-year-old male trades employee working drywall and ceiling. Texture, just switched job, same industry. Making about 36000 a year in a small Canadian city. No debt, 700 plus credit. Uh, basically, my mom is dumb, kind, and coddling. She married one of those foaming at the mouth religious nut job types. This is hilarious. I remember this now. They had five kids together, of which I'm the youngest. My dad went on to have two more children with two different women. Jesus will save you! So I have been heavily influenced by irrational, emotional, aggressive, blaming, depressive behavior. I am to a large degree insoluble with the rest of society. Because of the situation of my upbringing, I manifest a lot of feminine energy. This causes a lot of suspicion of men about my sexuality. Also, I'm very sensitive about and avoid putting myself out there because I hate rejection. And I do not enjoy voluntarily submitting myself to people who I don't feel are worthy or qualified to judge me. Stop right there. No, you're just afraid, okay? I I could understand if you're like, dude, I have no interest in watching the game. I work with a bunch of morons. They talk about their Dodge Double Wide Desi Diesel truck. Okay, I got it. No, 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 no. You're using this as an excuse because you're a coward and you're just afraid. That's it. I mean, I can understand being somewhat afraid initially as a younger man, a, a, a boy. When you like Susie, and there you are, you're a fucking retard like Cappy was, and you went out to the field, and you picked some flowers, probably from the neighbor who you didn't know, probably wasn't thinking, like, here's some flowers, rip, oh, probably someday, because it was a butt the middle school. I gave it, hi, hi, yeah, not you, it's like, ah. you're just a fucking pussy. I don't care why. I don't care. I'm sure your parents did cause this. I'm sure it's very bad. Your parents are to blame. Blah, 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 blah. But you're a pussy. So do you want to deal with that or not? Okay, don't. The problem is you're a pussy. How do you become a pussy? Doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter, Bob. We got a pussy to deal with. We better fucking fix them up right. So you get to make the choice today. Whether or not you want to continue being a pussy and let your parents fucking ruin the rest of your life or knock it off with the pussy bullshit and say, you know what, I'm going to go and put myself out there and stop being a pussy. I'm going to go out and have some fun. You know what, I'm not even going to have fun. I'm going to put myself out there so I can train myself out of this pussy-ish behavior and get shot down and get mocked and ridiculed, get uh, scorned get rejected, not even by women, but to be rejected socially by men, so that I toughen the fuck up and knock it the fuck off, because there's no place worse than where you are now being inactive, being paralyzed, All right? So, you gave me your money, I don't care if you do this or not, that's why we have the life improvement plan where you can bet against yourself 
large sums of money and then if you actually achieve it then I reimburse you half of the large sums of money I don't care got your money now here's the route out don't care if you walk through the door you can sit there <laughs> so choose today motherfucker do you want to knock that fucking don't lie to me you'll fucking lie to me I don't want to hang out with fuck you knock it the fuck off that's not the real world. I am sorry. I feel sympathetic. I've heard apathetic. Well, no. I feel bad. I understand. But to be a man, I don't care. No, no. That explains why. It explains why at least you have the sanity. But going forward, now it's all on you. So knock it off with this fucking excuse bullshit. You hate rejection. Oh, you're set. Really? You hate rejection? Because I know I just fucking ate it up. When 9 out of 10 times I got my ass shot down. I'm sure guys like Roosh and, uh, oh, who's kind of another player guy. It's interesting, the Red Pill community is more uh, philosophical and intellectual. Not to besmirch pickup artists, but I'm sure all those pickup artists, I'm sure they all loved getting shot down all the time. You choose to be insoluble with the rest of society. That's a, you know, I'm a larger ground I'm insoluble. No, no, no. Okay, I understand. Right now you are. You choose to continue to be. To increase, uh, I am curious for your advice on how to advance my intellectual independence, virtue, and pro prosperity. Well, intellectual independence, I don't think that has anything to do with, um, I, th I think you're already intellectually independent. I don't think that has anything to do with your socializing. Virtue, cowardice needs to get the fuck kicked out of you right now, I'll tell you that. But at virtue, I mean, you're a working man, um, you're supporting yourself, that's virtuous. I don't think you need much work in virtue. And prosperity, how do you define prosperity? Financial prosperity? Well, you're doing sheet rocking and carpentry. Nothing wrong with that. Absolutely no. What do you want to prosper towards? Do you want a minimalist lifestyle where you just sit there and read books and maybe go for hikes and everything? No, you could, you could do that being a carpenter. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Do you want to prosper financially? Where you want to run a business? Well, maybe you better learn some more skills or trades. Do you want to have a family? Whoa, you got a long way to go because you better start making a lot more money and you're going to have to learn how to be social with both males and females and then you're going to have to learn some fucking game. And you're going to have to get over this cowardice bullshit. Ooh, I'm afraid of rejection. Oh, fuck. To increase my awareness, I, I don't think you need more awareness increase. Connection, okay, connection, you need to go and talk to people. You need to go and hang out. Go be social. Right? And don't, here's the thing, you just got to hang out physically in a group of people doing something. Go, go to a game, not a game, go to a bar and watch a game with some people. These guys go out for beers later, say, hey, mind if I come with? Go have some beers. And, and just sit and hang out and then, and then watch, watch my video, How to Become an Interesting Person, because... I, I agree with you. You've had no socializing because of your parents and your background and because of you. You've not put yourself out there. So it's hard to tell you what these rules of socializing are because they're not scripted. They're not codified. They're intuitive. You should have gotten this over the course of your life, hanging out with people in school or playing with kids in the neighborhood, but you don't have that. So what you want to do is you want to go there. You want to be silent for the most part, taking and observing. Uh, but then also waiting for very opportune, but not common, instances of the conversation where you could say something that is devastatingly clever and funny and interesting. Or any one of those three. They don't have to be all three. <clears throat> so that's how you get connection. Is you go out and be social. You excuse, well, I am better at this. I have no interest in people who are going to judge. Oh, fuck off. Everyone's going to judge you. Everybody judges all the time. So connection, you need to get out. If you have trouble with girls, ballroom dancing. There's your answer. All right? You go out. Learn to ballroom dance. You don't have to talk to girls. You, you're, and you shouldn't even be talking to girls. You'd be focusing on how to dance. A byproduct of that, you will then learn to interact within the company of women. Uh, empathy. I gotta look up empathy. Empathy. What's empathy? I always fucking miss those. Aaron, aren't you an author? Yes, I am. That's why it's perfectly all right. Affinity, rapport with, sympathy with, understanding of. Oh, what do you need to be empathetic towards? Is there somebody that, that deserves pity or something? Masculinity? 
You need to hit the gym and not, oh my god, masculinity? Read Bachelor Pad Economics, read The Way of Men, read Bang and Day Bang, watch the Older Brother podcast, tune into Rich Cooper, and decide today you're going to knock it off with the pussy bullshit, all right? Actually, matter of fact, let's switch that around. Decide today whether you're going to knock it off with the pussy bullshit. Like, I am going to hit the gym, I am going to diet, and I'm going to quit blaming my parents for my current and future situation. They are responsible for your current situation, I'll grant you that. They are not responsible for your future situation, that's you. And you're going to decide that you will be masculine of it. Decide that, first thing, and if you decide to do that, then read all those books I mentioned before. If you don't want to, and deep down in your heart of hearts, you know whether or not you want to. You know whether or not you're going to be lazy. Oh, I don't want to do that. It's a lot of work and effort. Okay, then just be a virgin towel. Be a fucking pussy for the rest of your life. You will not be capable of masculinity. All right? But you will go if you want to be masculine. By God, it's the simplest number one thing you can do because it's like the hurl. It doesn't necessarily mean you're masculine, but it is a big-ass hurl. You will go to the gym regularly for the rest of your life. Period. New part-time job for you. It's called the gym. It's called lifting weights. It's boring as fuck. It sucks. Um, <clears throat> unless you're one of the lucky people who happen to get bit by the lifting bug and you really enjoy it. Uh, once you get a little bit more masculine, what I'd recommend is joining a martial arts of some kind. There you'll be introduced to masculinity. You'll learn to spar. You'll learn to fight. Um, yeah, dude. It's, it's, it, it's a choice today. Are you going to let your parents ruin the rest of your life? Or, no. Your parents ruined the first part of your life. Are you going to let yourself ruin the rest of your life, letting your parents ruin the rest of your life? That's what that boils down to. While not being in too much of my own la la land and disregard respecting those around me out of habit. To increase my awareness. <clears throat> well, disregarding disrespect. No, you have every right to disrespect and disregard your parents. Um, your folks got divorced. That right there earns a little bit of disrespect. Certainly allows you the right not to help them out financially at all. At all. People who get divorced, you can expect your children. The children have every right to just let you sit and sink in a government nursing home. Uh, the way your mom and your dad, they sound bipolar and unstable. Uh, you don't have to have any respect for them. Um, it sounds like your dad went away and your mom just did a great fucking single mom. Oh, and the hypocrisy, the religious types. <laughs> you, you don't have, you, liars don't deserve respect. Hypocrites do not deserve respect. Um, so there, all right. Shoot over some pictures. Lift, I just took up Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu again. Good, good. I'm decent at it. I came very good for a beginner, but it means nothing to senior members. It's kind of just how the community is probably a good thing. I have a few friends I speak with as well as my brother-in-law employers, but I've never frequented parties. Nothing wrong with that. You don't have to go to parties. If you, you could go to parties as practice. You can go to bars where they're watching the game as practice. That's the only reason you would go. The only reason. I have spent most of my life in relatively extreme isolation, playing Xbox in high school, Halo, and Call of Duty. Only dated brief periods. You chose to and not engaged in that much casual sex. Well, there it kind of depends on how you look and, and the women at the time. Then a fair bit more drugs than most. Okay, that, don't don't give me your fucking problems. Using coke and oxy, using weed now. Never been addicted. Okay, you can stop the weed. Went to college, spelled collage. Did you go to a collage? Or did you go to college? And did you graduate high school or did you graduate from high school? Again, I hate to sound like the fucking guy I never wanted to become. For welding, work in a place. Are oh, you working in uh, oil fields? Heard people been ripped off, lived in California, gone to the beaches on the Oregon coast. Heard the Basilica of Notre Dame and Montreal. I've been a bad employee and have been the best of employees. I have been brave and I have been a coward. I am fond of compassion. Shut up! I'm not here for poetry. Choose. Don't do pot. Do your best all the time. Policy. Simple fucking policy. Principles. That's, I guess, where we become masculine is principles. This wafing and waddling and oh and ebbing and fuck you. Just determine, decide now. Are you going to be the best? Or are you going to be another commoner fucking normie conforming and inferior? 
used to drink gallons of Coke. Good question about watching games. I did spend a few years watching Twitch TV and playing SC2. And I'm not talented, hardworking enough to be a program. No, you choose not to be. You choose. I get uncomfortable in clubs around people I don't know, so I keep to myself. I, that, 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 that's fine. That could actually be your personality. I'm not saying there's something wrong with being shy. Okay? But you do need to put yourself out there. And you need to clean up your system out of these fucking drugs. So that you get back to you, a basic you, like, oh, oh, here I am. And then you can actually go and start talking to women. I can be naive and hard, have a hard time understanding who to trust and what's going on socially, but I'm not completely oblivious. Mostly I think it's because I've been disengaged with the world for a long time. Okay, you can change that. I realize that I may fit in the spectrum somewhere. We don't do that here. We do not do that here. You did pot and drugs and you socially ostracized yourselves and you think you have autism or Asperger's or whatever the one is with the spectrum. Maybe it's just that you do pot and drugs and you socially ostracize yourself. I did have trouble learning as a kid. I was underdeveloped for a number of reasons regarding upbringing and bringing it back to birth. A person produced da 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 da. We don't speak much, haven't for a long time. We're in a shit house and drive a. That was not a bad car. Uh, I've had license issues. No! Okay, you've just answered everything. You are choosing to be a lazy fuck. Don't tell me your parents decide. Hang on, did you even pay? I wonder if you're the type to not even pay. Let's see, hang on. What did I charge you? I told you to send over some pictures, you didn't. I said $55. Let's see if there's $55 in my account, shall we? Because if you don't get your license, you're the type not to pay. I have license trouble. No, say it with me, I'm a lazy, no good, irresponsible fuck who couldn't even get his fucking license. Say that, repeat that many times while I look up whether or not you paid me. I've had license issues. I accidentally got pregnant. The fuck was my password again? Is that? Is there $55? Or did you have troubles paying the fucking fee? God. It's so sad how I can just assume the worst of humanity and be right. Da 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 da. All right, you pay. Good. That's the first step. What other self do you, stuff do you self-choose to do and then think you have an issue aside from making shitty decisions? I am in a productive period getting caught up on taxes. So you don't pay your taxes either? I wonder if that's a mental disorder or just a choice. Get caught up and I still need to fix my car, take care of my body, still eating shitty. Choice. I do spend hours a day on the computer. Choice. I'm going to write this down. Bad choices are not mental disorders. Your bad choices are not a mental disorder. Boy, look at me sounding all Jordan Peterson-y before he was all Jordan Peterson-y. Uh, <clears throat> but I always try to gather and integrate quality perspective so I feel it is time well spent. No, no. Wasting time on the computer, unless you're working. Dude, I make good money working this gig for what it is on the computer. You know what I want to do when I'm done? I want to get the fuck off the computer and never fucking look at it again. I do believe in A, the creator, but as a human being, some things are hard for us to understand. No, 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 no. You don't do the Lord has a plan bullshit. No, 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 no. I think in binary terms, I try to understand issues from much perspective as I can, yet I feel like a preachy jerk. Look, you can be a preachy jerk if you're supporting yourself and doing better than other people. And, and maybe not even necessarily financially better, but just happier and you got your shit together. I go to these parties. Oh, do I go to these parties? Where there is a lot more richer, successful people than me. And I just got to sit in and, 
It's a perfect example. I'm not engaged in the conversation. I just sit and oh yeah, maybe make the occasional occasional conversation a point. But to hear all these people who have really nice houses with huge mortgages and car loans and student loans and the kids, it's like they're going to get divorced and they're going to get divorced and they're going to get divorced. You could be a preachy jerk if you are better than people. Or if you're superior to them in, in a particular aspect, I like, you shouldn't really necessarily be preachy. I'm not sure if I'm just an angry, bitter, single person or what. I hope this helps. You're just, look, dude, you're a fucking loser. That's what it boils down to. You're making stupid decisions. Try, hey, new idea, new service of asshole consulting. Aaron Clary's don't make stupid decisions for a year and see what happens plan. Huh? Let's try that. You know exactly what you have to do. Don't give me this bullshit. You didn't know that your license had. You had to have one. Don't tell me you didn't. Oh, you shouldn't be eating McDonald's. Don't tell me this shit. And don't blame it on your parents. And don't say the Lord has a plan. Don't give me that fucking bullshit. Your bad decisions result in bad consequences. Period. End of discussion. And if you would like to get in and socialize... Whether you're shy or not, you need to be a good person first. You need to have confidence that when you walk through, when I walk into a party, I'm like, I'm probably pretty fucking cool. Not probably. I am pretty fucking cool. I'm very interesting, and I probably have my shit together more than most of these people in the world. And on top of it, I'm probably smarter than most of the people here. And that's not arrogant or cocky. That has been well earned through decades of slaving away and sacrificing and, and squirreling away money and doing without. And I'm not a preaching jerk. I don't go, hey, look at my dick. Here it is. Swinging air and clear dick. Plop. On the table. Look at it. Worship it. Obey it. Bow down to it. Put some candles around it. I don't do that. I go in there supremely confident. Why? Because I busted my ass off more than these normal fucking plebes that populate these parties wherever I go. Now, you're younger. You're not there yet. But by God, it, you're, it, you got some good things going. You have a job. That's better than most 22-year-olds. How old are you? No. You're in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. You got all this shit. You know exactly what to do. You have the seedlings, but you never water it. You never fertilize it. You never grow it to fruition. If you knock it off with this stupid fucking shit and work on Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, your career, whatever else it is that you want to do, you would become an interesting person. And then when you go to social environments, you may not want to talk. I don't want to talk. Because, one, you never get a chance to talk with these people who are blathering about their fucking completely average children or the game or, or fucking whatever they talk about. You really don't, and there's no opportunity to say anything intelligent. So it's okay. You can be quiet. You can be shy. You can be reserved. But then you're not fearing. You're not cowardly. You're not worried about rejection. You're just sitting there having a good time, relaxing. Like, yeah. And then so, an opportunity comes up to, for you to say something that, you know, someone says, yeah, I've been thinking about getting into Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. You say, well, I'm in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. It's really interesting. It's really cool. Like, oh, are you in Brazilian? And then you're accepted. Now you're socializing. But because that's, you became a good person first. You knocked it off with the pot. You got, my God, is there any bigger loser than I don't have a license? My fucking God. I mean, that's, that's almost as bad, maybe, maybe more pathetic, but not as damaging as I accidentally got pregnant. All right? So there you go. All right. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. You get to choose today, today, and I don't care which way you go. I got your money. This is all you now. Asshole Consulting, links down below, books and everything, podcasts and everything. Go take a perusal of the links down below. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.